大家好，我是闹闹。最近 Auto GPT 超级火爆，它最大的特点是允许 AI 自主行动，无需用户详尽提示每个动作。我们可以为 Auto GPT 制定一个总体目标，再由它逐步采取行动以实现最终目标。听起来是不是很厉害？今天我要让 Auto GPT 独立开发一个网站，来看看它做的怎么样吧。首先，我们对 Auto GPT 进行角色赋予。在描述目标。好了，开始干活吧。Welcome back, Dot. Would you like me to return to being Gui Ji Sheng Ming? I will create a new React component for the homepage using Next.js. Style it with Tailwind CSS and add the necessary text as JSX elements. I have received an invalid JSON response from the OpenAI API. Trying to fix it now. Apparently, JSON was fixed. I want to execute do underscore nothing. I will create a new file called index.tsx in the pages folder of the project directory, and create a new React functional component in it that will become the home page of the website. I have received an invalid JSON response from the OpenAI API. Trying to fix it now. Apparently, JSON was fixed. I want to execute execute underscore shell. I will add the subtitle and some text as JSX elements to the home component in the index.tsx file. I have received an invalid JSON response from the OpenAI API. Trying to fix it now. Apparently, JSON was fixed. I want to execute execute underscore shell. I will create a new file called index.tsx in the pages folder of the project directory, and create a new React functional component in it that will become the home page of the website. I have received an invalid JSON response from the OpenAI API. Trying to fix it now. Apparently, JSON was fixed. I want to execute execute underscore shell. I will add classes to the JSX elements in the home component, and configure the Tailwind CSS settings in the Tailwind config JS file. I have received an invalid JSON response from the OpenAI API. Trying to fix it now. Apparently, JSON was fixed. I want to execute write underscore to underscore file. I will use Tailwind CSS to style the JSX elements in the home component, and add the necessary text as JSX elements. I have received an invalid JSON response from the OpenAI API. Trying to fix it now. Apparently, JSON was fixed. I want to execute execute underscore shell. I will use the next JS command line tool to start the development server and preview the website in the browser. I have received an invalid JSON response from the OpenAI API. Trying to fix it now. Apparently, JSON was fixed. 好了，这就是 Auto GPT 开发出来的网站了。只能说前三个目标勉强及格。目标四美化页面，给零分不过分吧。网站的的确做出来了，但是嘛，总觉得怪怪的，真的是太丑了。之后我又尝试了几个其他角色和目标，总结下来，它真的是又慢又费 token， 尤其是在涉及知识盲区、目标不够明确、功能描述较多、环境描述不准确等，都会导致过度发散和反复求助于 Google。当然，这可能和我接的是 GPT 3.5 有关，如果换成 GPT 4可能会好点吧。希望大家测试了告诉我它到底是行还是不行。